In this guide, I'll show you how to add mods to your Eternos Minecraft server. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google and type in Forge Minecraft and search. Then you want to click on the link at the top and select your version of Minecraft for the mod launcher. Now from here you can click on the installer and wait a few seconds, and then you'll be able to click on the skip button in the top right corner, and then you want to click on the Forge installer that was downloaded. Now after a few seconds this will pop up, so you want to select on OK at the bottom, and once it's installed you can press OK to close it out. Then you want to go back to your web browser and go to Eternos.org and select play in the bottom right corner to sign up or sign in to your Eternos account. Now that'll bring you to this page where you want to select create a server. And from here you can select Java edition or Bedrock edition. I'm going to leave it on Java and click on create. Now this is going to create your server and you'll get a notification saying it's ready. So at this point you can select servers in the top right corner. And then you want to scroll down on this page and click on the server you just created. So once you do this, it'll bring you to this page. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So now what you want to do is scroll down on this page until you see software version. And we're going to select change. Now you want to change it from vanilla to forge. So scroll down and click on forge. And when you do this, you want to select the version of forge that you downloaded. So I selected 1.21.5 and then I'm going to click on install. Now once that's finished, you can have a look on the left sidebar and click on mods to add mods to your server. So have a look through here and find the ones that you want. You can also use the search bar at the top. And in this example, I'm going to be installing the journey map mod. So I'm going to click on it and you should see the version of the mod that you want to download. So I'm going to click on the download button for it. Now once this has been added, I'm going to have a look on the left sidebar again and go to options. And this is where you'll be able to adjust the server properties such as max players, game mode, difficulty, and more. So once you're happy with the server properties, you can click on server on the left side. And now what you want to do is have a look here just to make sure everything's correct. Now what you want to do is go to curseforge.com to download the mods. So we're going to come here and select Minecraft. And then I'm going to select browse all at the top, which is going to bring us to this page. And have a look on the left sidebar and click on mods. Now once you're here, you can use the search bar at the top to find the mods that you added to your Eterno server. So since I added Journey Map, I'm going to search for it here and click on Journey Map. Then what you want to do is go to the Files option at the top. And from here, you want to filter by all game versions to the version that you're using, as well as Forge since we're using that mod loader. Then what you want to do is click on the three dots beside the mod and select Download File. Now it's going to bring you to this page where you have to wait for the countdown to finish. And once it's finished, it should automatically begin downloading like you can see right here. So I'm going to click on the file folder to open up where the download is. And then what I'm going to do is minimize this window. And we're going to drag this over. And then we're going to go down to the search bar at the bottom and type in run and click on run. And once you've opened up run, type in app data and press OK. Now that's going to open up this folder and we're going to go to roaming. From roaming, we're going to go to Minecraft. And once you're in Minecraft, you should see a mods folder. Now, if you don't, you can right click on an empty section and go to new and add a folder and name it mods. So I'm going to open up my mods folder now. And now that it's open, I'm going to click and drag that mod I just downloaded into the mods folder. So after you've added your mod or mods to that folder, you can close out both of these windows. And now we're going to go back to Eternos. So once you're back at Eternos, what you want to do is click on the green start icon and you'll have to accept the EULA. Now after you've done that, the server will begin launching, so you'll have to wait a few moments. And once it's online, what you want to do is scroll down, and we're going to make sure we've copied the address for the server. And then what you want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher, go to Minecraft Java Edition, and where this drop down arrow is, click on it and select Forge. Then what you want to do is click on Play to launch the game. Now you can select Multiplayer and go to Add Server at the bottom. And from here you can name your server anything you'd like, but you want to press Control V in the server address to paste that address, and then you want to select Done. Now you should see your Minecraft server, so you can double click on it, or click on it once and select Join Server, and you'll begin joining your world. And since we use the Journey Map mod, you can see right away that when we join, that the mods are working. If this guide was helpful, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.